Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the new update that allows you to easily insert citations and bibliographies in Google Docs. One of the newest updates to Google Docs makes it easier than ever to use citations and create a bibliography. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So let's say I'm doing a research paper on cheetahs. To add a citation, all you have to do is go up to Tools, click Citations, and over on the right-hand side, you'll have a pop-up that allows you to add in a citation. So at the top, there's a drop-down menu that allows you to pick between MLA, APA, and Chicago. So let's just keep it in MLA for now. And then let's click on the plus sign and say Add Citation Source. And then you can select what type of source it is, We'll do a website. And then the first field is for author. This article doesn't have an author. So when we go back to Google Docs, instead of author, we can click on corporation slash organization. And the corporation slash organization is National Geographic. And the title of my article is Cheetah. So I'll type that under title. The website is National geographic kids for the URL I'll go back to my article I'll click up top here and then copy that come back to my Google Doc I'll paste the URL in there so in my article you can't tell when it was published um, the published year I checked was 2020 the day it was accessed is today the 14th of October 2020 and we'll select add citation source. And you'll see it gives me the option to insert an in-text citation. And it says insert in-text citations from your saved sources into the document. So I can click cite. And you'll see it cites it. And then I can also insert a bibliography. And if I press control enter, it'll push it down onto a new page. And it begins my bibliography for me. So I'll add in a couple more citations just so you get an idea of what this looks like. So I've gone ahead and added a few more sources in here just so you can get an idea of what a complete bibliography would look like and how this appears as you're working on it. Now again, at any point you can click on these three dots and you can edit your citations. But then once you're done, when you click insert bibliography, you can get an idea of what your complete bibliography will look like. There's also an option to give Google feedback so if something is wrong with the bibliography, it will allow you to give them some feedback. You can select one of the options here or write in your own comment at the bottom. Another great feature for students is that Google will allow you to change between MLA, APA, and Chicago at any point. So if a student starts working with MLA and realizes they actually needed APA, they can simply click APA and it moves everything around. And then I can delete my current bibliography, click insert bibliography, and it will give me a new one uh, that's changed to APA. So this new update makes it easier than ever for students to do research papers without having to use extensions or go to other websites. Now they can make their bibliographies and their citations right in Google Docs. I've included in the description below a link to the how-to guide on how to use this from Google. Also in the description, you'll find other tutorials on how to use Google products such as Google Meet, Google Jamboard, Google Slides, uh, as well as some advanced tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to share this with students and colleagues that might find it helpful as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, then click on the little notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash The Ed Tech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.